Hi, this is Lionel. Uh, today we're going to do some hacks on uh, Lomery, formerly called uh, Unity 8. So, uh, if you if we want to, to change the UI, for example, I want to change. I want to change here the label here, so the clock. Um, what I can do is uh, just first to, to connect to my device and uh, make my uh, partition writable. Okay, so if you want to know where we are stored the, the files, we can see Unity 8 files and we see that we can find all them here. So let's try to see what we have here. So the greater is the part uh, which is responsible of um, loading um, uh, the the clock, the logging, and uh, to start the session. So, if, for example, if I want to modify the label, the top label, I can use nano, which is already installed in the OS. Uh, and uh, let's try to modify the label on the top so up with oh la la oops I save the file and now just to test I have to restart Unity 8 like this and let's see ah let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, does it render? Oh. Uh. oh, we don't see anything. What's happening? What did I miss? Here. Nano clock. Okay. Text. Mm. Okay. Let's try if we see something. Ah yes, we show we saw we saw a quick Olala rendering here. So maybe I was in the wrong place to modify this. Uh, okay, so this is one way to modify UI files. Um, it's quite easy to test, but it can sometimes be painful because uh, of nano. So another way is to use uh, the clickable ID good creator um, so let's give it a try I entered that command and we have a better ID just to know so here I'm on on my desktop computer uh, I've all, uh, all, of course I've uh, cloned the repository before so now I have access to the file and uh, we can see that we can navigate between the files we can change let's see what did I change in the device directly this so how can I test this 
So there is not uh, no workable solution uh, by running directly here, but we have some we have some uh, yeah okay. So I can use that command to to launch a, a kind of desktop environment and to test my uh, my change. For example. I use make try shell. I can load the shell. Ah, we can see, we can see my change here. So this is interesting to test locally. Show greeter. I can add the greeter. Show the greeter, and test my different uh, uh, login mode. For example, I'm working on the um, clock uh, pin code prompt so I can test it to see how it behaves behaves so there are some bugs still some bugs here yes we can see it here okay we c I can see how does it render on a tablet how does it render on desktop size okay and uh, we can switch between uh, options here it's interesting to to have a look to test locally so this is i think a good uh, easy way a quite easy way to just to test the environment by having uh, an id here and uh, some uh, uh, some testers so this is how i how i do currently to to make some hacks that's all bye bye